folks. August 29th, 2021. 3.10 p.m. Rocky Ford time, a.k.a. Mountain Standard Time. And this is our update. No, Mountain Daylight Time. Mountain Daylight Time. Okay. Mountain Time. Let's just say Mountain Time. Uh, so this is our update on what's going on with our move to the Dominican Republic. And there's Sammy, a Dominican cat who's going home. Yeah, what do you think cool. of that, kitty kit kit? I will let Natalie take it from here. Okay, well, I'll just say that the house was listed on August 16th. It was a scramble to make sure everything was good for it. The Friday before, which was been, oh, Friday, August 13th. Oh, I was supposed to be finished work on that date, but then we agreed that I needed another paycheck and they probably needed me as well. So I stayed until this past Friday, August 27th. But besides that, we had the um, realtors' pictures taken on August 13th, and we had a stager come in and tell us how to set the house up. She gave us a ton of notes, and um, so we had the house painted, we had everything cleared out. Believe it or not, it doesn't look cleared out anymore, <laughs> for sure, it's a mess again. But we had everything cleared out for the pictures, and the house was listed the following Monday? Was that a long weekend? Yep. Monday. Yep. We had uh, a showing then the Saturday, which would be the 21st. And we know that the people who came to see it were here for at least 35 minutes because when we drove away, they were pulling up. And then we did a little sneak and watch through our dog camera to see what was going on. So we saw when they left. So we knew, we kind of thought, we knew that 35 minutes was showing a lot of interest because I think if people are not interested, they'll probably come in for, I don't even know, 10 minutes and just go, forget it, this place, this is a dump, I'm out of here. But they were here for 35 minutes and then within three days, I think, two days, mm -hmm. we got an offer, which obviously was low ball and we countered and then we accepted an offer for one showing, but we're still waiting for the final yeah. It's pending uh, inspection and yeah, finances. finances. Yeah. So that is supposed to be September 6th. So. Full so. disclosure though, we have let the uh, realtor know that we were watching on the webcams because they have to put something on their on their site that says that... Uh, on the listing, yeah. yeah. That shows that the, okay. the house is under surveillance. Yeah. So, so it's kind of funny. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So yeah. that's cool. It's really good. We're crossing our fingers because I don't want to have to clean everything up again for another showing. But it's still listed and we haven't gotten any further showings. So obviously these people are going to be our buyers, I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Yeah, there's no other interest in the house. Yeah, it has to be, the deal has to be closed by September 6th, which is a week from tomorrow. And that is a holiday as well. So it will need to be closed by Friday. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, so they did do it for a holiday? Yeah. The six is the whole okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we need to. Uh, I'm sure the inspector will come obviously this week. There's usually a 24 hour turnover from when the inspector comes, looks at the house, and gives the report to the potential buyers. And then they have their real estate agent contact ours. And if there's anything they want to change, that's when we do it. But I, I mean, we've done everything. Literally everything in this house should be in great shape for anybody walking in and buying it. So. Yeah, we've taken care of all the big ticket items. So if they want to renovate, then that's their their only expense. It's not they don't have to take care of a roof or furnaces or windows or yeah. siding or basement or anything. Basement, yeah. yeah, yeah. The only thing we haven't touched really is electrical and plumbing, but that's all in good shape. Yeah, like so why would we? Yeah, yeah, we've had people look at it already. So, yeah. so yeah. And we are, jeez, I don't even know. Okay, so now that I'm not working this coming week, I'm going to get cracking on a bunch of stuff. I have to follow up um, with the Canadian government because we're applying for non-resident status so that um, we can still work for Canadian companies from down there. And there is a tax treaty between Canada and the Dominican Republic, so that should be no problem, but I'll just follow up because we sent our application forms, I'm going to say four ago. weeks ago, yeah. yeah. To follow up on that, then I'm going to complete the Dominican visa forms. We're going to submit all of that. They apparently want your original copies of everything, but I am not sending our passport because we need our passports in November, and there's there would be no guarantee that we'd get them back 
yeah. by the time it's flight time. So that will be one reason that they can refuse that application for sure, Greg. It is, but you know what? If that happens, then we just deal with when we get down there. Yeah, we can hire a lawyer when we get down there. If we've already started the process up here, it makes it a zillion times easier for some reason. I have no idea why. But if we've already got everything started from up here, then we can get a lawyer down there to help us complete the process, if necessary. We're not sure. We haven't really mm -hmm. looked into a whole lot of that. Yeah. So then for the animals, we to bring them down there, they recommend that they have um, microchips. So what I did is I bought uh, 20 microchips off of Amazon for what, $70? Yeah. And our vet office will install chips in our six animals for $38 each instead of, what was it, $90 yeah, per animal? Yeah. So we're saving about 250 bucks or something, I can't remember, but it was, it was quite a bit Chips of money that we're saving that way. And then what we can do is take those other 14 chips and donate them to a rescue down in DR if they if they want to use them or we'll have to talk to Dee and Tony and stuff about that but and then the, okay so the animals all the dogs go to get their shots updated September 16th and then um, we have to go back to the vet with all six animals to get their health certificates before October 29th because we have to go to Canada Food Inspection Agency on October 29th get their health certificates stamped, this mm -hmm. also costs money, so that we have the CFIA approval to bring our animals down there. And then there was another glitch because there's some websites that say you can bring a maximum of five pets down, otherwise you need an import license, but because we're bringing six, one of our pets is going to be our friend Michelle's pet, so that all the paperwork will be under Michelle's name, so we're bringing in five and Michelle's bringing in one. Uh, what else? Um, flights are still on track. We, were, we check them every day to make sure that WestJet's still flying for our dates, and they are. There was a... <laughs> Greg, something happened with his browser, and it looked like there was no flights today for November, but we're all good. Just give the crap out of us. Yeah. Um, we've given a ton of stuff away to family and friends and sold a bunch of stuff, but there's still so much more to get rid of. Yeah. Yeah. And we figured out those bags that you put stuff in and you vacuum the air out and the, how well they work. They're perfect. We're filling up a bunch of Rubbermaid bins. Um, they're all the right size to get into cargo on WestJet and they can't be weigh any more than 50 pounds. But we're bringing down um, like mattress pads for the beds down in the house we're renting because uh, who wants to sleep on somebody else's mattress? Yeah. And um, some of our own sheets and a little bit of bedding. And what else are we bring? Our tower. Oh, our beach towels, our mm -hmm. favorite shower towels. Some favorite kitchen stuff. Favorite kitchen stuff. But yeah. honestly, we the luggage that we can bring is only what three people are bringing down. There's Greg will get four pieces, I get four pieces, and then our friend who's helping us with our extra pet, she gets four pieces of luggage, and we'll just pay the overage for all the luggage when we get to the airport and that should be should be another thousand bucks well under a thousand and maybe 750 to 800 dollars but that's way cheaper than if we wanted to bring a bunch of stuff down we'd have to ship it to montreal and there's a dominican company that um brings stuff down there twice a month right directly to Sasua where we're going but that could cost like $5,000 yeah. or depends on how many boxes or how many pieces of whatever right. they have to move. Yeah. Any other news about what we've discovered? All our plants, oh, all, we've given away all our indoor plants pretty well except two. Pictures are gone, like the bunch of the stuff behind us is gone. Um, a lot of stuff is spoken for and the buyers have generously let us keep it until, yeah, until we're ready to our go. last minute. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like our TV. We only have one TV left. A lot of your tools are gone. Yep, yep. Garage sale coming up for the rest of it. Yeah, we haven't picked a date or anything, but... Yeah, but... Got to be done. And, yeah, I think we're... Other That's than it. you starting to be the uh, project manager next week, mm -hmm. I think we're in good shape. Yeah, I have a honking Excel spreadsheet with stuff I have to complete. Yeah. And another thing is to make sure, well, for us anyway, when we get down there, we have a good friend that's going to be making sure we have stuff in the house, food and obviously some beer. Beer is the most and, important. And, yeah. <laughs> and cream for the coffee for the next morning. 
Because otherwise, you're kind of hoops. You get down there, unload, and then you have to go to the grocery store. But we, we have a friend that's going to take care of that for us. Yeah. So it's all good. Yeah. That's, that's it. it. I think we're it. Yeah, I think that's our last, that's our most recent updates. Maybe we'll do another update once the house is sold and we can... Have a party. Have a party. We can have a dance party. I doubt we'll dance, but we'll, yeah. we'll call it that. Okay. Alrighty, folks. Oh, Greg's oh. birthday's tomorrow. Happy oh, birthday, Greg. Yeah, Natalie's birthday was Friday. Happy birthday, Natalie. Yeah. We actually yeah. had we had friends and relatives over yesterday for... Man, we had five birthdays we celebrated yesterday. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Saw the grandkids. That was awesome. So happy Virgo birthdays, everybody. Yeah. All right. Peace out. Drink beer. What did I used to say? Be safe. Be safe. Yeah. Be good people. Bye. Bye.